Hello, it's another great morning and we bless the name of the Lord. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to have you today. Even as we get to uh, finish up on Psalms chapter 23, uh, it's a very familiar scripture. I'm sure uh, you are familiar with it. And uh, verse, uh, we have been looking at verse 1, verse 2. Uh, we looked at verse 3 and 4. And now today we look at verse 5. And six, David says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Uh, you have anointed and refreshed my head with oil. My cup overflows. He says, surely goodness and mercy and unfolding love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell forever through uh, uh, in the house of the Lord uh, and in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, David is saying that uh, uh, even uh, in verse 5, that the Lord prepares a table before uh, in the presence of my enemies. I thank God because uh, sometimes we go through hard time and sometimes we are the uh, stalking, laughing stock of our community, neighbors, friends, relatives, and people that we have been trusting and even people that are close to us. Sometimes uh, we look and we try to try to see if we can get out of the shame we are in. Because uh, you'll agree with me, not every day is a good day. Sometimes you find yourself in a bad day. But we thank God because the Lord is faithful. The Lord is always good. And that's why in verse 6 he's saying that uh, surely goodness and mercies and I'm falling in love, shall always follow me all the days of my life. There is nothing that gives me confidence, strength, and power like this scripture, child of God, that surely the goodness of God is unfolding love, shall always follow me all the days of my life. I thank God because of the rough times. I thank God because of the challenging times. I love, I love, and I thank God because of the situations that I go into that are uh, uh, fixed and, 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 and make me uh, be stretched because it is out of these situations that I get the strength of God. It is when you are at the, at, 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 at the end of you, it is when you are at the cliff that you are about to give up. It is when you have gone and tried and, and, and called everybody you think can help, you have consulted everybody that you think that could help you and they have failed. That is when God comes through and that's why he says that he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies because there are people that are waiting for your downfall but I thank God you are not falling there are people that are waiting for you to close down but I thank God you are not closing down there are people that are waiting to, 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 to spread rumors of how you were and how you are today but I thank God because your better days are ahead of you they are not behind you your better days are always to encourage you and they are always to uplift you in the name of Jesus Christ. This evening and this morning, even as we go continue with this day, our strength is in the Lord, our hope is in the Lord, our faith is in the Lord. And whatever, whatever we are going through, whatever we are going through, the Lord is faithful, is our strength, is our hope, is our love. And there is nothing that can happen outside his will. There is nothing that will ever happen in your life that will ever get God by surprise. And this only happens when we are in the presence of God. He's saying that I will forever dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. There is nothing good like the presence of God. I want to encourage you, child of God. Are you in the presence of God? Are you walking with God? Are you walking in God? And are you with God even right now? There is an opportunity for you to give God this opportunity in your life. I want you to say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I welcome you in my life to walk with me, to guide me, and to lead me. I confess my sins, and from today, I give you the keys of my life to be the Lord and the Savior of my life. From today, I want to walk and live in your presence. It is in Jesus' name that I pray. Thank you very much for saying that prayer. If you have not born again, I'm sure you are born again right now. And I want to encourage you, look for a Bible reading church, a good fellowship of brethren, whereby they are preaching Christ. You can find us at our church. We are along Outer Ring Road, 
uh, right at the corner, uh, right at st uh, further stage. You are much welcome to fellowship with us and have a good time in the presence of God. Till next time, God bless you.